This film concerns the psychotherapeutic treatment of a autistic girl who has spent the child psychiatric hospital. In the two parts, the introduction, we see a brief review of the patient's development so far. We then concentrate on demanding interventions by the therapist, used as a therapeutic approach in the beginning of the third year of treatment. In the introduction, we first see the patient at the age of three years, four months, during the diagnostic study, together with her normal twin sister. Next, we follow how the patient's stereotyped reaction to music is influenced by the therapist throughout the first year of treatment. In the beginning of the third year of treatment, the therapist becomes more active in his attempts to gain access to the patient's world. Sometimes he thwarts her by putting limits to her autistic games. Finally, he clearly makes demands, amply enabling her at the same time to express and act out her resistance to these demands. The therapist thus hopes to reduce her isolation and to facilitate her contact with other people. This is our patient when she is three years old. She does not speak, nor does she enter into contact with other people. This is her twin sister, very much attuned to yeah. other people. She is lively and she can talk. The two girls are probably identical twins. So far, Josie has never chewed. She spoons up the yogurt by herself, but when cookies are strewn over the yogurt, she tries to avoid them. She spits out any piece of cookie that accidentally gets into her mouth. She is careful to suck the yogurt from the spoon, thus avoiding the hard pieces as best she can. Carrie eats normally and chews well. When she hears music, Josie starts a rhythmic rocking, which she continues as long as the music sounds. She seems to have no defense against this stereotyped reaction to rhythmic music. Her sister Carrie also performs some dancing steps, but these are less rigid, less stereotyped. Moreover, she holds her doll. Carrie tries to imitate Josie's rhythmic rocking, but does not succeed very well. Carrie continues her ball game while Josie goes on rocking. Josie remains in hospital as an inpatient. Her sister returns home. A few times a week, the therapist takes her up to the playroom. When she hears music, Josie takes hold of the fingers which the therapist offers and they rock together for a moment. 
she soon refuses further face-to-face -face contact, but continues to hold the fingers of the therapist, who now supports her from behind. Lateral rocking is now changed to rocking backwards and forwards. When Josie has her right leg forward, it's very difficult to have her change to rocking with the left foot forward. The patient now moves much more freely, but she still rejects face-to-face -face contact. She continues her preference for dancing to the music while being supported from behind by the therapist. Face-to-face -face contact no longer offers any difficulty, and Josie moves even more freely. She follows the therapist when he indicates a change of movement. music sounds, Josie likes to dance with the therapist. This time he avoids her and turns dancing into playing catch. Treatment has now lasted for about two years. At this stage, Josie takes the rubber sheet from her bed with her into the playroom. Yeah, I 
de coaching com o É difícil. The therapist verbalizes his impression that the patient feels her rubber sheet to be her very own. He acknowledges her right to it. Nou van José. Ja, met een mooi krijtje. Ja. Een mooi krijtje. Ja. Een mooi plaatje dat we werken. Zet het maar neer. Knop zo. Knop zo. Josie plays with chalk, making strokes with it on the blackboard. When she continues on the wall, the therapist permits this only on a certain part of the wall. He protects the wall below the blackboard with his hands. He explains his prohibitive actions. He states that he's not angry with her and at the same time accepts her being angry about his interference. She slaps his hands and says, naughty girl. The therapist says, you are not naughty, but Dr. Kamp is naughty. The therapist says, you are making my hand red, beautiful red. She then smears his lips with the red chalk. Josie is active during this period. She develops much initiative and not infrequently shows resistance to the adults in her environment. She's also less docile towards the therapist.
the patient messes about with the gramophone, which she may very well damage. The therapist then suggests that she sit down near the table and that he himself put on a record. When the sound is loud, Josie wards it off with her arms. Josie continues to play with her own hair and the water. The therapist then draws her attention back to the doll. Now she's playing with paint and mixing colors with water in the basin. Here the therapist interferes by demanding that Josie first say the word water, water, after him. He knows that she can easily do this. Because she's active, and the therapist hopes that there will be no withdrawal into autism, but an interaction with him. He gives her ample opportunity to pose her own will against his, and to express her resistance. Nee! 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 Nee!
The therapist then changes his demand to a more personal verbalization, asking, say, Dr. Kamp. Dr. The therapist shows understanding for Josie's displeasure. He re-establishes contact by swinging her playfully to and fro. When the therapist says, isn't life difficult, Josie repeats this in a vague manner. She even repeats water in a vague whisper, but the therapist doesn't hear this. When she finally withdraws into the cupboard with toys, the therapist follows her while verbalizing what she does. He helps her climb the shelves. She continues in her negativism, however, and refuses his help. Yeah, there's so much. 
you know. No way you're so blind, kiss. When the therapist asks her attention for the blackboard, she again shows her negativism. Finally, she takes over the drawing and makes strokes on the blackboard, which indicate hair on the head of the doll drawn by the therapist.
Thanks. Thanks. Did he clear up the Samoy? Did he clear up the Samoy? Yeah. This time the therapist lures her out of her withdrawal while singing the old lullaby, Naughty though she be, we love her as you see. He then sums up the therapy hour. You can speak all right, but you just don't want to. As usual, we see no deterioration of contact following these aggressive interactions. In fact, they promote both individuation and the faculty for keeping contact. So, how long may that be? 